AIT for refusing to change my children's natural hair? I, 35F, am a mother of four kids, 8M, 5F, 5F, and 3F, and am currently expecting my fifth. My husband and I are both of African descent and are quite dark-skinned. We both have kinky hair and our kids all have very curly hair, especially our twins. The twins recently started school and they both quite enjoy it. People always compliment their amazing hair and comment on how neat it looks. I live in a town that hasn't got any affordable colored hairdressers, so I cut their hair myself. I think that it's beautiful and I'm so happy that my girls love it too. A few weeks into school, we had a parent-teacher conference. We knew our kids would be doing great and we didn't have anything to fear when going into the conference. We sat down in our chair and I noticed the teacher staring at our hair. I thought it was strange but shrugged it off and listened to the teacher talk about our girls. The report was great and we were so proud of them but just I was getting ready to leave. Their teacher said she has one serious thing she wished to discuss. This made me and my husband concerned and we obviously sat back down. When we sat down the teacher awkwardly looked at us and tried to explain without sounding racist. I don't remember her exact words but I think this was what she said. I have noticed both of you have beautiful hair and so do the girls. I'm sure it must be difficult to take care of but we were wondering if there's any way you could straighten it. Their hair can be quite distracting and I would hate for my other students to fall behind because of it. I tried to keep myself together. They were five years old. I was not putting heat on their hair just so some distracted kids wouldn't fall behind on the two times tables. I stared at my husband and saw him nodding along. This was the last straw for me. I was annoyed and immaturely started yelling, not loudly, just enough to make her understand my frustration. No, I will not be straightening my five-year-old's hair. That is so bad for them and their hair is amazing. I don't want their healthy hair to die because of the other students. They won't be getting distracted by their hair, and if they really have a problem with it, tell them to talk to me themselves. I spoke before slamming my hands on the desk, grabbing my bag and leaving. Later, my husband got home. He yelled at me for embarrassing him in front of everyone and told me it wasn't a big deal if we straightened their hair. I was so mad but he kept insulting me, calling me swears and slurs. We kept arguing for hours and luckily my kids were at my ma's. Eventually, he slammed the door, locking the door behind him. Since he had locked it from the outside, I couldn't get out until he was back so I had to sleep on the uncomfortable chairs by the dining table. Anyways, Aida, edit, thank you for all the support. I've had a few people asking about the locked door and how it worked. Also, there is a slight error in my part, because I meant the outside table that we use for events, and gatherings and also occasionally for breakfast when it's warm. When we were arguing, he was smoking and therefore spent a lot of the time outside. My door can't be unlocked without a key even when it's shut and my key had been inside since I'd been home for a while. We only have two keys and it's never been an issue. When my husband went inside, he locked the door using his key. Therefore, both keys were inside. The outside of the door doesn't have a handle and only has a piece of metal with a lock on it. It's easy to shut yourself out with doors like these as you need a key to open it even if it's unlocked. I don't know if that's a great way to describe it, but if you have the same doors, you'll know. Me and my husband haven't spoken since the event, and this will op be the end of us. I'm looking into filing a report against that teacher and I have contacted my in-laws and they are on my side. Mill has offered to look after the kids whenever we need while we sort things out and Phil is trying to talk to his son but apparently he won't drop it. I will update with further information. Asparagus Wild 379 said, I'm more sidetracked by her husband locking her in somewhere so she had to sleep on chairs. That's abuse and she needs to leave. Plus calling her slurs. Servant Girl underscore 789 said, Tell me you're racist without telling me you're racist. NTA, the teacher is demonstrating racism in the name of majority. Too bad. And you have every right to take stand on that. As to do otherwise, would send a clear message to your girls that they're less than what they view themselves as. Your husband may not like confrontation, but this is about a fundamental right to your girls' social acceptance and their education. Rats in the Attic said, I am white with poker straight hair and I am raging for you. Once your twin's hair is clean and tidy and not infested with nets, the teacher has no reason to tell you how to manage their hair.